Hi, this is Galit Goldfarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week, I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place. And I hope you gain a lot of value from my videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling happy because today our quote of the day is about our vision of reality. And it goes, reality is only a reflection of our own intentions, biases, and knacks and desires by Abhijit Naskar. So how do we know what is real and what is not? And is it even important to live in reality as it is or to choose not to live in reality, but to live in an imaginary world that we create in our mind? Well, these are very good questions and many people have different answers to these questions. Some say that we need to create our own reality in our mind and in our imagination so that we will get there. And other people say that we need to live in reality as it is so that we are connected to what is happening around us and not living with pink glasses on. So what's the verdict? And how can we tell if we are living in reality or we are living in some kind of imaginary made up reality that we have invented in our minds through our thoughts and feelings? Well, reality is simply what is. It's, it doesn't have any meaning behind it. It just is what is. Without it being defined as good or bad or negative or positive, it's just what it is. Nothing more and nothing less. This is what reality is. It's the fundamental force, basically. Often we may think that that something is real because we have experienced it in the past. But if, an, if we did experience something in the past, we do not know if our vision of reality at that time that we were going through the event was biased or not. You see, in order to give something meaning, we need to judge it. And we judge things by whether they are good or bad for us in that moment. In nature and in reality, there is no good or bad. There just is. The meanings we give are only in our mind. And if you think about it, there are many different meanings that we can give some to something. Um, and it depends on really the person that is looking at the event or in the event that determines its meaning. It is the onlooker or the person experiencing the event who determines the meaning and thus whether something is good or bad, comfortable or not, uh, negative or positive. The meanings we give everything in life form our reality and we choose the meanings. Therefore, we basically choose our reality. Really, just as if we are writing a story and we are like the main actor. But the fact is that most of us, because we are inventing our reality, do not see reality as it really is. We give meanings to what we hear and what we think we hear, and we give meanings to what we see or what we think we see, and we can change things in our mind to match our sometimes really distorted view of reality. But when we distort our reality, even in a positive way, is this good? Well, it is not. It can be if, if we are uh, choosing a positive way to see things or a positive reality, it is certainly better than if we give negative meanings to things through, the neg through negative emotions. But even if you are creating a pink picture of reality and you don't really see it as it is, it may be comfortable in the short term. It probably will be comfortable in the short term, but in the long term, it will lead to suffering. A distorted view of any sort, whether positive or negative, will lead to suffering in the long term. And you will have difficulty understanding why and where the suffering came from. The meanings we give, the meanings we give to things in our life become our beliefs. And they can stay with us forever unless we understand that the meanings we give things may be changed. And the reality we formed can also be changed by changing our beliefs about something. For example, uh, from my life, when my mother married after divorcing my father, her husband, her new husband, said to me after they had uh, children together, my half-brothers, uh, they said to me, uh, he said to me, now your mother has a new family, so you can go out and find yourself something else to do. 
Now, I was only 16 years old, and when I saw that my mother didn't react and didn't intervene when he said this, I gave the situation the meaning that my mother doesn't love me and that I am not wanted. But in reality, many years later, I found out that my mother had never even heard what her husband told me at the time. Now, since we all, as humans, have an imagination, we are all capable of creating meanings to situations through our thoughts. So basically, every human can live in a different reality. <laughs> and if you ever watch the television show Survivor, for example, it is really funny to the viewers, to us, the viewers on television, to watch and see how two people who are in the exact same place at the exact same time see things completely differently and interpret things completely differently depending on their view of life. Basically, any two people may have different views of reality because no two people went through the same experiences and gave the same meanings to things. Even twins who grew up with the same parents in the same environment may interpret situations and experiences differently depending on their previous interpretations and their mindset at the time of the event. But why do we give meanings to things? Well, generally because you, reality is much more painful than the vision we create for ourselves. But seeing things in a distorted way will not clear away the future consequences and suffering of a distorted reality, uh, a distorted vision of reality. So try to understand reality as it is, and then you will be able to thrive in the world. Only when you face reality as it really is, you become strong enough to face the world as it is and to thrive in it as it is. You can create new possibilities for your life only in this way. You are also more able to see more possibilities for solving a problem and take better action steps because you do not need to give something meaning in order to act. We can always act even if we have no meaning for something. For example, now with the coronavirus, many, many people have lost their jobs. And if we give meaning to being laid off that we will not be able to survive or care for our family, then we will become overwhelmed with fear and not be able to think straight and find better strategies for supporting our family, like moving to a more simpler lifestyle and cutting out any unnecessary expenses for the near future until things change. But if we do not give any meaning to being laid off and we just accept it as being laid off and now we need to find a different solution, then we we will find the best solution for ourselves and we will think more clearly without having any emotions affect uh, our line of thinking. When we look at reality as it really is, then nothing will have meaning. A fly, for example, is just a fly. But if it disturbs us and we give the fly the meaning that it is an annoying creature, then we will immediately have a view of, of reality that flies are annoying. Or we can see, for example, that sunshine is something great and we go into the sun very often and to get enough vitamin D and to enjoy the sun because we believe it's good and then we get skin cancer. And we can also eat unhealthy food and think that it is all in the mind and that we create our reality. But in truth, there are physical laws and that these physical laws will have their consequences. And when we distort reality, we will suffer the consequences whether we had a positive mindset or not. When you remove the meaning that you give something, good or bad, you instantly remove the feelings that come with it. And then you basically clear your mind from it. And when you are free from having an emotion about something, you see things more clearly and you can make much better choices for yourself today and for yourself in the future. So as always with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that you, the answer to it will help you move your life towards a better place for you. And the question of the day is, in which area of my life am I distorting reality and choosing a view that is just not real? just to make myself feel better and to justify my actions? And can I change my view of reality in this field to the basic real reality without judging anything, just seeing the situation as it is? A pretty long question, <laughs> but if you find the answer, 
if you find the answer, then you will uh, work on seeing things as they really are, and then you will be in a much better place towards living a better and happier life. I recommend writing this question in a notebook, especially that you have prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can look over them and see your answers and make sure that you're improving your life from day to day. So to finish this video, as I always do, I finish with an affirmation and the affirmation of the day is I am succeeding in the real world because I am connected to reality and I choose my actions in accordance with reality and that's why I will succeed. I am succeeding in the real world because I am connected to reality and I choose my actions in accordance with reality and that's why I will always succeed. So tell this affirmation to yourself as many times as you can because with repetition, an affirmation has the power to alter your consciousness so that you think and behave differently for a better, happier life for you. So have a wonderful day. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to watch these videos every day and get notifications of these videos. Also, please visit my website at thegorillodiet.com for anything to do with health and wellness to improve your health to the best place for you. Thank you very much for joining.